Look at that amazing birion tacos right here. Oh my god, you can smell that beef in there. So much flavor in here. Dipping that consomme. Oh my god, in my mouth. Before we start the video, I have merch. Links on the description below if you want these bad boys. If you tag up JDZ on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, I'll give you a shout out. Something that's great for traveling and vlogging. But yeah, cut my merch, guys. All right, guys, we are heading for the Manitoba Food Truck Battles here in Winnipeg at the Sun Boy Downs. Come on, guys, let's get it. Ticket to get inside is five bucks as well, free parking. Before we get into the challenge, let's take a little walking tour on food trucks that are participating on Manitoba Food Truck Battles 2023. Oh yeah, we are at the Manitoba Food Track Battles. Just waiting out for food music. We're gonna do a collab. And once they're here, we're gonna start eating and munching some food here. Can't wait. Many unbearable hours later. First up, Tot Wheels for the El Camino. Let's go. Thank you, man. No worries, enjoy. Yeah, I can't wait to eat this one. Oh, look at that, guys. It smells amazing. Hey guys, this is JD's Eat and we're doing a $75 challenge at the Manitoba Food Truck Battles and we're with my boy Huge Music here. What up? He already started the challenge. He was too hungry. He tried the pizza, right? I'll still start the 75 challenge over. Yeah. He spent 30 bucks. Really good, right? Yeah, it was good, yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna start with this amazing hot wheels. I think it's an El Camino. Look at that, guys. So basically, that's the burnt head pork belly, galleons, and some cheese sauce, and some tater tots in there, I believe. Can you smell that? Oh my god, I'm gonna enjoy this bite with the $15. So I only have $60 left to spend on this night of a food truck battles, including the drinks. Let's get it. All right, I'm gonna start right now. I want the pork belly one. It looks good. Oh, look at that. Massive. Oh my god. I bet this is super flavorful, smoky. And let's get that tater tots going on. Oh yeah. Can you smell that, guys? Super flavorful, sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. And the tater tots is nice and crispy and crunchy. It's like soft on the inside and crispy and crunchy on the outside. Look at that. I think it's one of the best tater tots you can get in Winnipeg. I like food truck. Wow, this is worth $15. Oh yeah, flavor is amazing. All right, another bite. I really like this pork belly. It's super fatty, it's super juicy. It goes well with the tater tots. Barbecue poutine in here, but with tater tots. The flavor is the bomb here. Super good. I think they should keep this as a permanent menu. This is just so damn good. Everything here. Last bite. Very pretty full already. I'm gonna need some drink after this. All right, done. Where are we heading next now? Oh, uh, we're going to Casima. Yes, sir. Filipino Mexican food truck. Right over there. All right, try it under beef sinigang taco. Let's get it.
What up? What up? What did you get? We got loaded elotes and we got four tacos. You were saying earlier this is Mexican and Filipino mixed blend style of yeah. condiment. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. The line was really long, but I hope the wait is really worth it. But we got some Kusama food trucks. I got their agua fresca, their drink. And I got their mango tamarind, which is kind of exciting. And in this one, we got our beef sinigang tacos. Two pieces of beef area with some consomme sauce, Mexican Filipino sinigang sauce. And then we got ourselves some hot sauce in here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So good, man. We have our loaded elite. It's like shredded Doritos on here. It looks like we have a bit of meat on there and creamy sauce. It's really good, actually. I'd say it was worth the wait. I was getting a little impatient for it. Finally, I made it to the finish line here. Yeah, finish <laughs> line. All right, guys. Got to this hot sauce in here. Oh, there's a lot of hot sauce going on here. It's going to be a messy bike for y'all. I'm already covering the hot sauce. Take a bite here. Oh my god. Look at that amazing birria tacos right here. Oh my god. You can smell that beef in there. So much flavor in here. Dipping that consomme. Oh my god. In my mouth. Mmm. The taco shell is so crispy and crunchy. And it's really beefy. Super flavorful. Perfect to put in that consomme. And that consomme, it's like sour from the time I ran. It's sinigang. That's that sinigang flavor in here. The consomme. Super flavorful. And a little bit spicy in here. So much flavor going on. This is a messy bite to eat. Taco salmon. Alright guys, we're gonna try this mango tamarind aqua fresca and I spent $16.25 I only have $43.75 left to spend on my $75 challenge Manitoba food truck bottles and we're gonna have this one, it's gonna be super refreshing I was waiting there a long time, it's really hot out beautiful day yeah it's really beautiful oh pretty sweet and a little bit sour so i think they use mexican mangoes i wish it was those philippine mangoes because it's more sweeter when it's philippine mangoes called carabao but this one they use mexican mangoes and i missed mexico already feels like i'm in mexico and the philippines at the same time i'm sure this guy enjoyed that bite of elote really good right this is so good man oh it's spicy man i can feel that from my nose Wow, this is freaking juicy, man. Oh my god, I forgot the lime, guys. Oops, I forgot to put lime on my tacos. Oh, soup still tastes pretty good. Should have put lime, I forgot. Sorry, guys. Well, these taste pretty good. Damn, I was pretty hungry because the lime was way too long. It was worth the wait, right? For sure, man, yeah. All right, let's go back in line and get second sounds. <laughs> Refreshing. Bango tamarind. Last but not least, churro stuff for the filled churros. Let's go. Gracias! De nada! Yes! Got some churros, baby! Let's go! Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Now check it out, we got Nutella, yeah. uh, raspberry, and the other one was a like Spanish sauce. Dos de leche! Dos de leche! Yeah. Oh yeah! Get the Spanish accent going on! Hola, hola. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh yeah, what do you think? It's actually really good. It's interesting to see other cultures and what their definition of a donut is. Yes, sir. That's what it is about. All the uniqueness and different taste buds, different unique cultures around the world too. It's awesome. All right, guys. Our third stop called the Churro Stop. Done for their South American churros, which is basically a Spanish version of donuts right here. And we got the filled ones, so this should be exciting. And I got myself some variant cream and some raspberry and some dulce de leche, which is Spanish caramel. I would think I enjoy the dulce de leche the most. This is gonna be a messy bite for y'all. Hope it's worth it. Mmm, nice and crunchy and crispy, soft and airy, and super sweet goes the legend here. Wow, this is pretty good. I think we want to have some more and more of these bad boys, but I can't. But this is the way to end up our meal here at our $75 Manitoba food truck battles here. Right, Brent? Very fortunate we didn't get to try every food truck here, but there's some that caught our eye. I'm satisfied with the ones we went to. The burrito's pretty awesome. Yeah. Great way to end it with this. a different style, different culture of desserts that we're not used to. We don't exactly get these at Tim Horton. Yeah, better than Tim. But right now, we're trying the Bavarian cream right now. But it looks good, actually. The cream kind of tastes similar to the Boston cream at Tim Hortons. The Bavarian cream. Wow. I don't know if it with the raspberry one. Oh yeah. Sniff that, guys. Spanish caramel is really good. Yeah, these are really good. The jam is kind of like Tim Hortons too. I think this is better than Tim Hortons, to be honest. Well, they should replace them. Yeah, replace them. Yeah. They should have two rows on their menu. Tim's. This is just so damn good. 
All right, guys, I'm pretty full. I ate like three places for the total of $41.33 on a $75 food truck battles challenge. And what do you think? It was good. No, it was some good food. It was nice, real competitive, and nice to support local food trucks, restaurants. It's my first time doing a food commentary. Yes, sir. Thank you, JD, for uh, having me out here. Mostly competitive eater and uh, your songwriter, but uh, sure, give me a follow and we'll keep in touch. Yeah, thank you. Oh, man, I really enjoyed the talk, Leo. Uh, El Camino, like the pork belly, burnt ends with the tater tots, and then the Asama food truck, the agua fresca, mango tamarind, and beef again taco, and then the churros stuff, churros, like filled ones. They're really good. I'm pretty full. I wish I kept some more, but I don't have enough space for my stomach, you know, right? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, for $75. But anyway, guys, that'll be it for the video. If you do enjoy this video, the $75 food challenge out of Manitoba food truck battles, just please. Please make sure to leave a like and you please make sure to smash the subscribe button, share this if you want, and comment for your suggestion, guys. Can we hit 5k subscribers? Can we do it? And guys, this is JD Seats, and guys, see you guys next video. Bye.